Microscopic World Discovered with Goko Japan Greetings from Goko Japan. In this video, we explore fascinating researches using the capillaroscope Goko B Scan series, focusing on microsurgery. To begin with, let me introduce Dr. Kento Yamamoto from the Department of Plastic Surgery at Aichi Medical University Hospital. Dr. Yamamoto is recognized for his expertise and potential in plastic surgery. He's been utilizing Goko's capillaroscope since its early stages, applying it to a diverse range of cases, including skin flaps, laser treatments, burns, pressure ulcers, among others. The paper, contributed by Dr. Yamamoto to the Japanese Journal of Plastic Surgery, highlights the broad potential of utilizing capillaroscopy in the fields of microsurgery and plastic surgery. In this paper, three cases of skin flaps in the field of microsurgery, along with other cases in plastic surgery, are clearly demonstrated with detailed images and videos. With Goko's capillaroscope, you can monitor blood flow after anastomosis in specific areas and track changes over time. Conventional methods for pre-operative and post-operative blood flow assessment in flap surgeries include ICG, non-invasive tissue oximetry or near-infrared spectroscopy, Doppler ultrasound, CRT, and pinprick tests. However, this paper also highlights the disadvantages associated with each of these methods. The fluorescence imaging technique can only be used during surgery. Additionally, once the dye is injected, it takes time to wash out, making repeated assessments difficult. Non-invasive tissue oximetry or near-infrared spectroscopy require significant knowledge and experience to interpret the quantified data. Methods like CRT and pinprick tests can be subjective, meaning the evaluation may rely heavily on the clinician's experience. On the other hand, with this capillaroscope, simply placing the scope on the skin surface is sufficient to capture the capillary image, and no special experience is required for assessment. It offers numerous advantages, including simplicity, non-invasiveness, and the ability to provide objective evaluation through visual inspection. Here, we introduce a case from Dr. Yamamoto's paper in which he used a capillaroscope to observe a pap flap breast reconstruction surgery, which is one of the three flap cases presented in his study. In this case, toward the end of the surgery, Doppler was used to check the blood flow in the flap, but no flow was detected. Additionally, when using the capillaroscope, no blood flow was observed in the flap. Consequently, it was determined that the flap was ischemic and the sutures were removed to inspect the anastomosis site. Despite this, there was no improvement. However, when the sutures attaching the flap to the chest wall were removed, the tension in the flap was relieved and blood flow was restored, as confirmed by the bleeding from the de-epithelialized area. The flap fully engrafted and there have been no issues reported at the four-month post-operative follow-up. In this paper, interesting research examples are presented where the capillaroscope was used to observe not only flaps but also capillary malformations, burns, and pressure ulcers. These will be further introduced in the plastic surgery video section. We'd like to express our respect for Dr. Yamamoto's outstanding research. Thank you for watching. Now it's your turn. Please join us today and take advantage of Goko's capillaroscope.